Welcome everybody to this video. My name is Max from Laser Beast Lab, and today I'm gonna to show you how to put together this layered turkey. This layered turkey is available for free on Omtech's website, so please go ahead and download it off their website. And this video is gonna give you a step-by-step -step process on how to put this all together. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Once you have the file downloaded from Omtech's website, go ahead and launch it in Lightburn. Uh, you'll see right off the bat when you open it up, um, the actual design itself is separated into two layers. Uh, you have the blue layer and then the red layer. Um, the blue lines that you see is your scoring marks. The scoring marks are going to kind of give you a guidance on where to place some of the raised layers. So I just leave them separated right there with about 10% power so it shows up enough to where I could actually see where to place the red layers. Uh, and the red layers obviously is going to be your cut lines. Um, this is what's going to cut out of the wood and it's going to be some of those multi-tiered layers that'll kind of add some depth to your project. So now that we got it all set up, it is designed to fit onto a 12 inch board. You can make it bigger or larger depending on what you want, but I like to have it all on one piece of board. So I'm going to go ahead and load that board up right now and let's go ahead and get it cut out. Now that everything is cut out, let's go ahead and remove it carefully from our laser bed. There are a lot of small parts in this file, so make sure that you take a good inventory afterwards. The best and smartest thing to do in this case is just kind of stack it all together right now before we paint. Uh, and this will kind of give us an idea if everything works first or if you need to actually go back and cut something out. Um, you'll see right here, I saved some of the cutout pieces in the wings and feet. Um, this is just something that gives me a little added option to change the colors up if I want. So um, let's go ahead and get our paints ready. The color selection for this one is absolutely autumn. Uh, a lot of red, orange, that kind of stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with the painting. So for the outline layers, we're gonna do that brown. Uh, some smaller pieces, it's easier to hold it down with some tape and then give it a good spray. Then we move on to our base layer. The base layer is going to be the one with the feathers, the turkey with the feathers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it with a cinnamon, and this is kind of a warmer orange with a little bit of red to it. Um, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to do a gradient la later, uh, just kind of like a red overspray. Then we're going to move on to the turkey body. Um, the orange right here I'm going to place on it is going to be mostly shown through like the turkey breast and the neck. Then we're going to do the wing. Uh, I'm going to do a gradient on this one too, but I'm going to do the whole base red for now. And then I'm going to bust out a, uh, a forest green right here and just kind of give it an overlay towards the tip of the wing. And I think it'll look nice just to have a gradient kind of going on and change up the colors a little bit. Feel free to mix up any colors that you want or use whatever palette you prefer to. This is just the colors that I chose. Um, I don't necessarily have the best eye for colors. Um, so just experiment and get wild. This is your project, make it your own. Um, looking back at this one right here, this is the gradient I was telling you about. I'm just kind of slightly dusting the feathers, the outside of the feathers. I wanna show a nice bright red that pulls in. Um, and while I have that bright red on the outside, I actually wanna make it brighter on the inside. So I'm gonna take some yellow that I have and just do a spot in the center. Uh, the lighter color is very overpowering. So I just, it, you only need a little bit to go a long way. So you see right there in the center, I have a nice bright inside that kind of acts as our focal point. Uh, next up is gonna be some of the smaller details, the beak, the yellow, uh, the mouth parts is red. I'm gonna do the feet yellow as well. And then let's take a look at our color selection right here. Now that all the paints are in place, it's time to put this thing together. We're gonna do it in the same order we did with the painting. Um, the feather part of the turkey goes on the back, then the body of the turkey on top, and then we'll do the wing on top of that. These three layers add a good amount of depth to it. Um, and once they're in place, it's time to start the details. So since those are there, let's go ahead and get those details in place. And once they are, we're all set. So you'll see right here, um, this is the completed turkey design setup. Again, you could always change up the colors. Um, I did keep those pieces of the wings and I did those different colors too. So that way maybe once in a while I could kind of change them while it's hanging out in my house and then I don't feel like a whole new piece again. 
You may prefer or find out that you just like the look of having that solid wing too. Um, so that's always an option. You can just glue those in place if you don't like the way your other wing came out. Um, so pretty much that's how you have it right there. Uh, the turkey is from start to finish complete. Uh, it's a pretty easy setup for the most part. The only tools you're gonna need for this project are gonna be your paint selection, some super glue, and then also optional is some tweezers and that'll help you get some of those smaller pieces in place. So that should give you the gist on how to get this all set up. But if you do come across any problems or have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments.